Welcome back to a new episode of Movie Reviews. Today I am reviewing the movie called Alvin and the Chipmunks. That's correct. So let's get on with that. So let's put it this way. Movie starts out with three chipmunks in a tree and their tree is getting destroyed by loggers and they have to go find a place. So they find a nice place to live in, which is some guy's house and his name is Dave. And while they're living in Dave's house, they are kind of like trashing the place a little bit. But Dave is wondering what's going on, finds out about these chipmunks. And later he accepts them living in his house on some conditions. And as it goes on in the movie, he learns that the chipmunks can actually sing. You got Alvin, who's in red. You got Simon, who's in blue. And Theodore, who's in green and is the largest one of them all. And you got Simon, who wears glasses so that he can see. But in the beginning of the movie, you don't find out that he can really see until until Dave takes a pair of glasses off his Santa Claus and gives them to Simon, and Simon's able to see. And that's why in the cartoon show, he wears glasses. And Alvin is like the leader of the pack, of the group. And so as it goes, you find out later that they're able to sing. So they try to get a record deal and all this stuff. And finally, this guy comes up and says, you know, you guys are amazing. You guys are able to sing. So he promotes them and he's making them bigger and better and everything. And they're singing at all different things and people are loving them. Three little adorable chipmunks singing. Who wouldn't enjoy that? And so he makes them big. He makes them famous. And in the end, he wants to keep them for himself. Why does he want to keep the chipmunks? Because... The thing is that they're famous and everything. And so what happens is he comes up with a little plan to get the chipmunks out of Dave's house. And so he he more or less buys them with toys and everything they want. And Dave is just pissed with Alvin, Simon, and Theodore. Mostly with Alvin because Alvin's like the kind of rumbunctious kid who likes to get in trouble and see how far he can take it. And so finally... Dave kicks them out and he goes live with what's supposedly their uncle, but not really. And they live in his mansion and have everything they want. They're big movie, they're, they're big like singers and everything. And while they are at their final performance, which is the big, the big show of everything, um, Dave finally realizes that he likes Alvin, Simon, and Theodore. And so Best way to put it, he kind of adopts three chipmunks to live in his house. And that's when he learns that he has to be a better father. He has to take care of the kids who are chipmunks. Like, who's going to take care of chipmunks? I mean, yes, in real life, chipmunks are adorable, but nobody really wants to take care of chipmunks. So, I mean, unless you have it as a pet, that's one thing. But, like, say this is, like, my three sons and they're chipmunks. That's kind of odd and weird and a little bit delusional, but whatever. It's a movie. And so as it goes, he figures out that he's got to be a better father. So he's a better father. And he realizes that he really loves Alvin Simon and Theodore and everything. And it all works out in the end for them as it goes. So let me tell you, was the movie good? Yes. Was the movie worth buying? Hell yes. Was it worth seeing it in theaters? I don't know. I haven't seen it in theaters, but I did enjoy it when I rented it from Redbox. Um, that's only in the United States, so you won't find that here in Canada. Also, um, do I recommend it for people? Heck yeah. Watch it. Go watch it. See for yourself. See what you think. Is it kid friendly? Yes, it is. For all ages. That's from the age of like two all the way up to the age of 150 million years. I mean, anybody can really watch it. And then that's the whole point. So go watch the movie. You won't regret it.